we've forgotten how afraid we were. In 1952, the threat was real. Parents were advised to keep children away from crowds. Pools closed, and movie theaters went dark. Hysteria grew. People were quarantined. It was the worst polio outbreak the United States had ever seen. But it's not ancient history. It's still circulating. As recently as 1988, the World Health Organization estimates that the world saw more than 350,000 new polio cases that year alone. That's nearly 1,000 new cases per day. But through the largest global health initiative in history, we've gone from 350,000 cases annually to just 74 in all of 2015. That's a staggering 99.9% .9 reduction. But we can't quit now. If we don't stop circulation of the virus, we risk reinfection and outbreaks. That's why getting to zero matters. We're not saying it'll be easy. Vaccination in these countries is complex and expensive. In our ultra-connected world, the disease is never more than a plane ride away. Within 10 years, failure to eradicate polio from these last remaining strongholds could result in as many as 200,000 new cases every year. We've immunized 2.5 billion children in the world's largest, most sophisticated global health initiative. Our commitment to eradication matters now more than ever. We are on the cusp of making history.